the the biggest uh, move I think right now is is that using and I, I think it's more there's a technology component to it with people moving from the cloud moving to the cloud to kind of do their data collection and there are algorithms where um, you have vendors being able to help casinos um, do what normally would have had been done on their own servers and they would have had the higher DBAs is that you're almost there's this uh, ability now to access the algorithms and technology with a lot of vendors, um, you know, that wasn't available before. Um, and with that, you have new tools and the the ease of the tools. It's not someone who needs to go in there, code SQL, um, and then, you know, or find an Oracle DBA if you're one of those 5% of 10% of the casinos that instead are using, you know, a Konami product and are based on an Oracle infrastructure. Um, but even then, it, it, it makes it easier to kind of uh, get to that point of analyzing your data. Yeah, I would agree. I think that a lot of the cloud infrastructures have really changed the way in which um, casinos, especially um, casinos that are, are located in more remote areas um, that have, they don't have um, access to significant resources. Um, they can take advantage of uh, cloud-based technologies. I think that's a that's a, a really, really uh, a big game changer for a, a lot of casinos, especially tribal casinos. I think few years ago, a lot of tribes were a little bit apprehensive to make investments in cloud. And now that's actually started to shift. Actually, there are a lot more um, uh, uh, tribes that are actually feeling much, much more comfortable when it comes to making those investments in cloud infrastructure because they actually see the advantages of them.